and there we go okay again to my template we need to change the color to this sort of orange okay then back again I and the color should be uh, this okay again 85 95 and we keep the hover for the white or to be white oh no I think this is the opposite the hover is orange and the default is white so my mistake again sorry uh, the default color should be white or this C9 uh, and the hover should take oh it's okay oh okay okay good for us it's already there so I, the way we want it oh it's not there because I changed the things yeah this is it the hover okay the result that we wanted to have uh, hover with orange uh, also let's apply the same rule for the this sub menu items So the medium look, um, let's say, pretty good. Uh, one more thing, we can change the background of this uh, drop down. So again, this is the the URL, and we scroll a bit down to find the background. We can change it to whatever color we would like to have. So example, this one, and we need to change, the, you know, the colors of the hover. And it's pure CSS, nothing complicated it's up to you if you'd like to change this hover effect okay now let's move to my oh why it's not mine let's move to the uh, slider in, uh, the template it's a full width slider with the text so let's see what we can do about it so firstly we see that we have some extra content here actually these are uh, CMS content so if you go to my back office again to my why I keep saying mine? Nothing is mine. You go to mo to models and service and position. Then we need to look for slider, image slider for your home page. Uh, okay, we have some th uh, another one which is theme configurator. So whether I can edit or I will not bother myself. I just unhook it. So no, my slider is again my slider. Again, the slider is is alone by itself in this whole block. Go to my back office again. Module and service. Try to see if we can change this uh, 779 seven, nine pixel. Go to slider. Configure. So normally I will see some good setting right here. So I have a maximum image width I will put 100% or 10,000 or well, let's do 544k or 8k screen the speed, the pose, it's safe ok, ok, ok what's going on here let's see if that 2.5000 took place with hundred percent UL the width is five okay now um, I need to check something I would like to see if the problem came from uh, from the image yes exactly okay so far so good except one more thing these little dots Okay, to activate these dots or to display them, we need to go to GS file of a slider and uh, to set another property which is the pager. So home slider, GS under uh, the theme again, GS module, home slider, GS, etc. Then we turn this pager 
a property into true. Okay. Back, refresh. So normally we will not see anything because we need to to work with CSS to set it properly. Will be bottom zero. We need to maybe Z index. And this is it. So we start showing. And from the actually I'll give it 30 pixel, a minus 30 pixel. I think we have some overflow hidden for the for the main or let's say the global uh, slider containers hidden hope I hope that this did not affect some other property but you may you should be careful and I'd like to add some margin bottom of 13 pixel or maybe 14 now we need to just work with CSS to customize them okay so the background will be white I guess so it's pure white I'm slider 81 okay go 81 uh, okay pure white let's refresh the page to see if everything is still okay okay and then we need to change the active one and to give it where is the active I give it a border of one pixel solid red actually it will not be red it will be this orange color so again I'd like to inspect this, this color okay get this color and the border should be this one actually and I'd like to be like two or three pixel oh wait a second so we see that he's like jumping up because I assigned a new border here and actually I need to assign that also to the other ones but the other ones will be transparent okay let's uh, use the important property so this one should be like this and we are good for okay this is new file so we need to go to GS jQuery plugin okay let's copy open it onto a new if you remember in the first uh, moment of this tutorial we said that we never edit um, default bootstrap oh sorry default prestashop files so this one is outside our theme so another term if an upgrade came from uh, the prestashop so this this mean this file will be changed or let's say will be uh, will be updated so we will lose that property so the best practice to do is to go to or, or let's say to keep walking under or uh, uh, inside the theme files to do that and the best practice again is to use the global CSS which will still the same whether you updated your PrestaShop version or not so what we are what I will do is copy this property then uh, put it inside my global CSS and assign this one as a background color and back to verify, refresh and everything should be good. 